What is up? Welcome to another video on this channel. I will cover everything how you can get into and grow in the AR VR industry. So it doesn't really matter if you're a developer, maybe a UI artist, maybe you are into sound or 3D stuff, then this channel is right for you. Feel free to subscribe and let's get started with the video. So in the last video, we talked about all the roles that you have in a VR AR company, which really means a company that produces AR VR content really. So there are of course like developers, UI artists, all of that stuff I just mentioned already. And this video will cover specific questions that um, I think can be really helpful to you and I will come to something even more awesome later in this video, so stick to it. Questions that will help you as a UI UX designer, so specific to this topic right now. I have the privilege to work with an awesome spatial UX designer, so a UI UX designer for AR and VR games, apps, whatever you name it. And I came up with four questions which I will read through and then I will give his answer to it and then give a little comment and this will be basically the video. So four questions, hopefully useful. If not, then um, I'm sorry, but there will be some, some awesome announcement in the end of the video. So stick to it to get your questions answered. Let's start already with the first question. What do you do on a daily basis as a UX designer? I'm researching every day the benefits and pain points that our application has on our customers. We work in a B2B system where our customers are companies, therefore I learn about what our customers try to achieve as a business, document findings for team learnings and come up with creative solutions for development. So in the end it really comes down to can your end user use your application well or not? Is it a smooth experience? Do they understand what they are supposed to do? or do they have some friction somewhere? Of course, on a yeah, third dimension level with um, AR, VR, it's a bit different. You have uh, new things that you have to try out as well, of course. In uh, mobile, it's kind of very um, strict and you know already what kind of things work well and what things don't work well. But um, this is a new field, so it's a lot of testing as well, a lot of trial and error documenting and those kind of things. What skills and tools do you need as a UX designer? Speaking from a UX role with an illustration background, drawing is an invaluable skill to have since design for XR has a lot to do with visual storytelling. Not everyone must know how to draw, but being able to articulate visually is important. As for tools, I have created illustrations on an iPad with Adobe Fresco or Autodesk Sketchbook, concept videos with After Effects and Premiere and 3D prototypes with Maya or Blender. Don't worry, I will put a list of the skills needed in the comments below or in the description, whatever. And my humble opinion on all of this is get started with something that you are familiar or something that you really like. So if you are your really good drawer already, then yeah, keep drawing of, of course. But also try to kind of get your feet into 3D stuff. So Maya, Blender, stuff like this helps a lot already. Um, I mean, I have to work with that stuff or developers like me, we have to work with that and having things in 3D really makes it kind of easier and makes um, all the misunderstandings a lot less. So that definitely helps. So and Blender is awesome and free. I am a 2D UX designer. What can I do to get into spatial design? To jump from 2D app design to XR, start coming up with AR apps for the phone as a personal project. It is important to show your passion in your portfolio and joining any XR meetup, as I told you so often, is, uh, there we go, is always good in order to familiarize yourself with trending technologies and possible networking. My comments here, yeah, really, really something that I am um, telling pretty much everyone already. Um, whenever I get asked, like, how can I get into it? Really just start playing around with some projects. Start small, it doesn't really matter and then just connect to the industry, connect to people who do it for a living, for example, maybe subscribe. That's the best choice you can do. And um, go to meetups. There's nothing more valuable than um, networking and meeting people in the field. And a really good one. What are some good resources for me to look into to learn XR design? Currently, the best resources for XR design are keynotes and talks from industry events. The technology is becoming more portable and cheaper, so there's always something new to learn. And the latest info is at the events. Check out Microsoft's Mixed Reality Academy, 
there's so much knowledge to gain from that and of course online courses for XR workshops are always great and the best of all is of course the Nash YouTube channel no just kidding that's my opinion but it's good so check it out and yeah my thoughts on this is yeah he's absolutely right there's not that much information really outside um, about that whole industry really and most of it's it's behind a paywall from yeah, big conferences, talks, speeches, those kind of things, of course. And yeah, really you want to become an insider. That's the most valuable thing, um, especially in the future. There will be, of course, lots of things. People will create courses all over the place. But right now, yeah, if you are an insider, then you have lots of advantages already. If you want to get started already, definitely, like even as a non-developer, having a bit of Unity skills, for example, can help you a lot. So really check out my AR Foundation playlist here. This is one of the best I've created here. Also resonates most with people. And very beginner friendly. You don't um, need that much coding skills for, the, for creating something small. So check it out here to get already into the field. And I see you. So this is it already for this video. Please definitely let me know if the questions helped you, if they made any sense. I tried to go into your head, maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. But if you have any questions that are left out, of course, um, there are probably lots of questions still left. So I will ask him again if he can um, help us. Maybe we'll bring him on board on this channel. It would be really cool to have an interview with him as well. Let me know what you think about it. And of course, all your questions in the comments below. As always, like the video if it helped you and subscribe. And as always, I see you in the next one.